as the protests turned violent, the Manipur government seems to have instead played with fire by stoking dangerous identity politics. Chief Minister of supporting extremist Metai groups like the Arumbai Tengal and the Metai Lipun and even allowing them to steal. Yes, steal, my friends, weapons from the state security forces in the Imphal Valley. An official assessment by the state police headquarters has revealed that at least 500,000 bullets, including mortars and 3,500 guns were stolen. Please think about what I'm just saying again. Guns and bullets being stolen from the state armories and the police stations in Manipur, especially in Imphal. In any other part of the country, this would be seen as an act of high treason that would lead to a massive uproar, would result in, if not the dismissal of the state government, but at the very least, action against the culprits and some element of accountability. So I ask today, where does the buck stop in Manipur? The union minister, Amit Shah was almost forced to travel to Manipur and spend three days in the state and this should reveal just how grave the security challenge this violence in a border state poses. Mr. Shah went to Manipur in end May. Good for him. But that's almost a month after the violence first erupted. Was it then a case of too little too late? Truth is, the Home Minister's calendar in the end of April and the first half of May was booked. Why? Because he was focused on the Karnataka elections. He was crisscrossing the state on a daily basis. At that point, all that mattered for the BJP and Mr. Shah was winning Karnataka. Manipur, it seems, could wait. It, after all, has only two Lok Sabha seats. This is what happens, my friends, when election cycles begin to matter more than core issues of governance and law and order. Manipur is a major security challenge that also reveals the limits of power politics. You can win elections by flexing money and muscle power, but how will you win the hearts and minds of ordinary people? Like it or not, the government in Imphal and the center in Delhi has blood on its hands. Think about